What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Sierra. Thank you for joining in. I make videos about body types, making sure people feel beautiful in their skin, and also just like a little bit of lifestyle stuff, you know? Gotta work that into. <coughs> Not me swallowing my spit wrong. But this video, I want to be all inclusive for every single body type. If you don't know what your body type is, I actually just made a brand new video, updated 2023 on how to figure out what your body type is. Definitely go check it out if you don't already know. Also though, if you don't know, who cares? Because all of these items you can wear. All right, let's get into it. First of all, there are literally so many trends going on right now. It can sometimes be hard to figure out like what trend you want to do just because there will be like opposite trends going on for different styles. So it can be a little confusing sometimes. The first trend we're gonna talk about is sheer. Sheer, 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 sheer. I feel like sheer isn't like the best trend for spring just because it's still cold outside. So I do feel Feel like because of this that this is kind of like an early summer trend so they're kind of like warming it up in spring like, let's just introduce this little sheer moment in here right even if you're on the like i don't want to show too much skin style of fashion you can still make this work in really cute ways one way that you can do this is honestly wearing it to the beach i mean i don't know how much skin you're willing to show but i know i really want to wear like a bathing suit top with a sheer shirt on top next thing we're going to be talking about is motocross jackets i think that's how you say it it's like a motorcycle jacket i do feel like this is more for an edgy style even though i have have seen ways of people softening it up which I think is pretty cool so just know there's always different ways you can incorporate new trends into your style these jackets can be hella expensive so what I recommend to do is just go to your local thrift store and thrift one a lot of celebrities are wearing this trend right now it's definitely like a cute way to be edgy I think a lot of people are gonna wear it I think it's definitely going to be implemented into summer as well just for those like chilly summer nights you know next we are going to be talking about the trend of all trends this spring and summer this is definitely going into summer denim on denim i am seeing this everywhere i personally feel like you have to be very careful when wearing denim on denim because when i first saw denim on denim i was like "Ooh, not for me but i have seen some really really cute ways to wear this there's one i can't find a picture of one and i can't find where I can buy one but if I do I'll definitely let you guys know but it's like a set it's a tube top that's denim I found the shirt so I'll link the shirt down below if you guys want to check it out and then like a short skirt and it's a set I want it so bad but yeah so the denim on denim it can be light denim dark denim cross denim and I also have seen people instead of wearing like a shirt and a bottom denim they'll wear denim pants and then have like a denim purse which is pretty cool I definitely don't have one of those too I feel like you could thrift a denim on denim purse or you could buy one if i find one again i'll link it down below i'm gonna try and search on amazon so i'll just like have my amazon storefront down below so you guys can shop and check stuff out all right next we're going to be talking about ribbons one of the kind of like aesthetics that have been trending for spring 2023 is like ballet core it's definitely for a softer look like i you can't wear ballet core and be edgy unless you just implement like little things like ribbons and leg warmers and things like that but it's like a whole core like a whole thing where people are dressing not in full tutus but just like goofier skirts and wearing ballet flap wearing ribbons in their hair wearing leg warmers just like the whole shebang it's so cute but one of the things that i feel like have been taken from the ballet core and been used in all of the different like styles and aesthetics that people like are ribbon i'm seeing them a lot in just people's hair also there are people who are like putting them on their strap i would put it like here in a little bow and maybe even on like both sides so that's something that people are doing which i found interesting they're also using it as like a little necklace which is cute but yeah so ribbon is definitely one to check out and it's like easy you just go to walmart and get like a two dollar thing of ribbon and then you're set so it's definitely an easy trend to follow and definitely works with all body types next trend we're going to be talking about that works for every single body type is headbands specifically what i've been seeing is this like 
thick fabric headband that just kind of like sits here. I've been seeing them on honestly all different styles. Sporty, cute, all the aesthetics are using these. I have a very oddly shaped head, so I can't use this. I cannot wear this trend because if I put one on, it kind of just goes, it goes, Whoop, it just, <laughs> I don't know. So I'm not gonna be utilizing this trend, but it's definitely something that's really, really cute. It's very popular. Definitely works with all body types. So let me know if you do it. Next trend, next trend we are going to be talking about is a trend that I don't think is going to last until summer, personally. It is the heart trend. For some reason, this spring, everyone is just obsessed with hearts because Valentine's Day just happened and they're like, hearts. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, literally in all ways you could imagine. In jewelry, like literally their whole top being a heart, heart print, heart cutout, just hearts in general. I personally really, really love the idea of having like a little heart necklace. This trend, I mean, it works with all body types. All you need is, is a heart and you're good. It's definitely a trend to look into if you're into that kind of thing. Next trend we're gonna be talking about is the trend that one body type I don't feel like works the best with, but can still wear it. It is cargo pants. Cargo pants are super, super in right now. Wearing them right now. Cargo pants have been trending for a little bit now. They're not going anywhere. I really love the like light tan cargo pants. I wanna get some of those. I think that looks so cool. The reason I don't feel like this is best for pair body types is just because when you have cargo pants, it's going to be a little bit baggier and bigger on your hip. The pockets on the side make your hips look wider. If you already have a pear shape and your hips are bigger than your shoulders, that's just going to add to your pear shape, which don't get me wrong, work it. I saw a girl who was rocking this trend. She has a pear shape, so it's definitely something you can still do. If you love the trend, if it makes you feel confident, oh my gosh, like who cares? Do it. But if you want to kind of pour more attention onto your top half and your hips are something that kind of bothers you, then I would stay away from this trend. So yeah, let me know if you check it out. It specifically works really well with apple body types and inverted triangle body types. Those are like peak. Also rectangles. The next spring 2023, whoa, trend that works with every single body type is the 3D flower. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but like when I say the 3D flower was on the runway, I'm talking on the runway like 3D flowers, bish. Flowers are here. So obviously this is not something that's trending. It's more of just like the 3D effect, not full on flowers on you. It's as simple as just little 3D flowers to having your full top be 3D flowers, to having a couple 3D flowers on your pant leg, to literally a lot of people, they're putting like a choker and then just snapping like a little flower clip to the necklace. And they'll have this 3D flower necklace slash choker and you literally can do this by just taking a ribbon and just boop there you go you're on trend so and it works with every body type they're also putting it around their waist and making it a belt which is a very inventive and cool so if you have like a plain black dress wrap a little string around you place a little flower or i'm sure they're selling them at some places as well but you can just diy this cutesy trendy fun 3D flowers. That's a whole commercial. But yeah, I mean, even Harry Styles is wearing this trend. So, I mean, if Harry's doing it, I'm gonna do it, maybe. The last trend we are going to be talking about that works with every single body type is maxi skirt. Rectangles might be the only one where it's a little could go either way, but if you pick the correct top, then it should be fine. So you can get maxi skirts in high-waisted, low-rise, mid-rise, any rise. So that's going to help dictate whether or not it's gonna work for your body type. Different body types look best in different rises of pant or jeans or skirts. So this is something to keep in mind when you go to buy this trend if you decide to do so. But specific maxi skirts that are super, super, super on trend right now, like I'm seeing them in so many places, are denim maxi skirts. Specifically the ones that have like the cutout at the front. I remember talking about these denim maxi skirts in a different YouTube video that I did a while back. I don't remember which one it was, but I literally was talking about how I could never do this trend because 
because I remember when I was homeschooled, the homeschooled moms wore denim maxi skirts and I was like, I will never. Now seeing all these people wear them and, they, and using them to their advantage and like making them really cute, I'm like, okay, okay. I get it. I probably still won't do it just because I don't think I can, but it's really cute. I have found a new appreciation for denim maxi skirts. I really like the denim with like leather. I think that looks really, really cool. You can also wear like denim on denim with a denim maxi skirt. Like you're doing all the trends all in one with a little flower thing, you know, and then the ribbon in the hair. You're just like, you're just like a trend, right? There's a full trend. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this this all about your body type let's figure you out leave a comment down below if you want to know your body type give me your measurements and I will definitely help you out try to figure it out on your own though because I realized doing it myself just gave me a full understanding of it instead of just somebody telling me like if you actually do it yeah I'm a visual person and I think a lot of people also are so try to do it and figure it out yourself watch my video if you can't definitely leave me a comment and I will help you leave me a comment on your favorite fashion trend for spring 2023. I am gonna tell you guys mine, hold on. I think the one I'm most excited for that matches every single body type are probably the sheer, just because I wanna try it. Probably the cargo pants too, because I have cargo pants. So that's something I can, I can actually wear right now. I'm trending now. I'm excited to have something that's trending. Let's be real, I'm a broke 24 year old. So it's like, you know, I'm gonna go thrift what I can and then that's it. Like budget, hello, budget friendly, please. All right, you guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.